How's it going, people? Well, I had to finish. I just took a little break in between. Ching Dow! I got three left. I also added a Heine to the mix because I don't know if I have enough beer to do this next chapter. I don't even know if I can handle it. I had to finish, though. Couldn't resist. I took a little break. Now I'm ready for more. All right. This one is even juicier than the last. It's the final chapter of Ether, and they're pulling out all the stops. Chapter 15, The Hill of Kumora. Preparations for a mighty struggle. Millions go down to death. She is slain by Coriantumr. Ether's concluding words. End of Jaredite record. Gee, we almost don't need to read the chapter. They told us everything. All right, one. And it came to pass. <sighs> when Coriantumr had recovered of his wounds, he began to remember the words which Ether had spoken unto him. Two, he saw that there had been many slain by the sword already, nearly two million wow. of his people. That's a lot, and that's just his people. And he began to sorrow in his heart. Yea, there had been slain two millions of mighty men, and also their wives and children, so it's even more than that, because they weren't counting the women and children. I think, well, I don't know, hard to say. Three, he began to repent of the evil which he had done. He began to remember the words which had been spoken by the mouth of all the prophets. And he saw them that they were fulfilled thus far. Every wit and his soul mourned, and he refused to be comforted. Oh, they had a comforter for him. <laughs> Four. Then it came to pass. <sighs> Damn, hay fever's kicking my ass. Uh, that he wrote an epistle of the shiz, desiring him that he would spare the people and he would give up the kingdom for the sake of the lives of the people. Shit, under those circumstances, I would have given up, before, given up the kingdom before I got it. I'd, be, I'd have passed. <laughs> like, ah, uh, no. You got someone else, please. It ain't good to be king. <laughs> Five. And a king. When Shiz had received his epistle, he wrote an epistle unto Coriantum that he would get, that if he would give himself up, that he might slay him with his own slay him with his own sword, that he would spare the lives of the people. Six, and it came to pass. Uh, 
that the people repented not of their iniquity. And the people of Coriantumr were stirred up to anger against the people of Shiz. They're sick of that Shiz. And they ain't going to take it. I guess. And the people of Shiz were stirred up to anger against the people of Coriantumr. Wherefore, the people of Shiz did give battle unto the people of Coriantumr, and vice versa, I'm sure. Seven. And when Coriantumr saw that he was about to fall, he fled again before the people of Shiz. He knew the drill. Eight. Then it came to pass. that he came to the waters of Ripleyancum, Ripley which by interpretation is large, or to exceed all. Is this Lake Superior? If so, it's got the same name. We should just call it Ripleyancum from now on. What do you say? Maybe Lake Superior is Ripley Ancom, which means exceedingly big, large. Now, why the fuck do we have? Never mind. It's it's a Moroni translating Jaredite. He might have thrown in one of their words for novelty. You know, like they do in the New Testament, because they were writing in Greek, being that none of them were eyewitnesses. All right. Ripley Encum, which, yeah, large or to exceed all. Wherefore, sorry about that tangent, man. Wherefore, when they came to these waters, they pitched their tents. And Shiz also pitched his tent, his tents, uh, near unto them. And therefore, on the morrow, they did come to battle. Eight, uh, nine, and it came to pass that they fought an exceedingly sore battle in which Coriantumr was wounded again. And he fainted with the loss of blood. Ten, the first, of the Qingdao. Very nice. And on sale. <sighs> We're almost done. One more book after this one, and it's not very long. I don't think it is. <coughs> Ooh, that was almost a yodel. All right, hang on, where was I? Ten, and it came to pass. That's where I was. Good thing I took a break between videos. Like two hours. <laughs> that the armies of Coriantumr did press upon the armies of Shiz, that they beat them, that they caused them to flee before them. And they did flee southward and did pitch their tents on a place which was called Ogath. Eleven. And it came to pass uh, 
that the army of Coriantumr did pitch their tents by the hill Ramah, and it was that same hill where the father of Mormon did hide up the records unto the Lord, which were sacred. Twelve. And it came to pass. Gather all the people upon all the face of the land who had not been slain, save it was Ether. Thirteen. And it came to pass. Ether did behold all the doings of the people. And he beheld that the people who were for Coriantumr were gathered together to the army of Coriantumr. And the people who were Shiz were gathered together to the army of Shiz. Like it could have been any other way. Fourteen. Wherefore, they were for the space of four years gathering together the people, that they might get all who were upon the face of the land, and that they might receive all the strength which was possible that they could receive. Fifteen. And it came to pass... When they were all together, all gathered together, when they were all gathered together, every one to the army which they would, with their wives and their children, both men and women and children, being armed with weapons of war, having shields and breastplates and headplates, they probably mean helmets. Head plates, huh? Okay. And being clothed after the manner of war, they did march forth one against another to battle. And they fought all that day and conquered not. Uh, Sixteen. And it came to pass. When it was night, they were weary, and they retired to their camps. And after they had retired to their camps, they took to a howling and a lamentation for the loss of the, of the slain of their people. And so great were their cries, their howlings and lamentations, all different things and yet the same activity. That they did rend the air exceedingly. They were cutting it up with their crying and and whimpering and whining and crying and screaming and <coughs> wailing. Fucking fascinating. Let's get some battles going, all right? It's been building up. I just can't do it with one. Seventeen. Then it came to pass. Uh, 
that on the morrow they did go again to battle. Good and violent. And great and terrible was that day. Let's hear about it. Nevertheless, they conquered not. And when the night came, that's it, huh? That must have been one hell of a battle there. Okay. Uh, and when the night came again, they did rend the air with their cries. And their howlings and their mournings were the loss of the slain of their people. Eighteen. Hang on. Oops. I think I'll open this one a little later. Uh, little uh, failure to launch. I hate it when that happens. So I'll have a hiney. Nothing wrong with that. Oh, I just hope I don't puke tonight. I'm not really much of a drinker. Surprise. <laughs> uh, I'm hoping a better drinker will be inspired by this series, and, and then I can watch him. Or her. Alright. Eighteen. Unless I'm missing one, but this it, each verse looks the same at this point. <laughs> and it came to pass. I might have missed a repetition, I'm not sure. Very close. Qingdao is not too much different than Heidi can. Slight sweetness to the Qingdao. Heineken's got more of a crispiness. Yeah. Anyway. All right. Sorry. You didn't come here for a beer review. All right. That Coriantumr wrote again an epistle unto Shiz, desiring that he would not come again to battle, but that he would take the kingdom and spare the lives of the people. Yeah, but... You'd miss out on that third magic time. I'm just guessing. I don't remember for sure, but... Usually they have to do things in three. It's yeah. rather silly. Nineteen! And behold, the Spirit of the Lord ceased driving with them. And Satan had full power over the hearts of the people... And they were given up unto the hardness of their hearts and the blindness of their minds that they might be destroyed. Wherefore they went again to battle for the third time. <clears throat> okay. Twenty. And it came to pass killing me now. I should have saved this one for later. But fuck it, I'm not doing it again. Alright. That they fought all that day. And when the night came, they slept upon their swords. Ow. Even if you're laying on the flat of your sword, that can't be comfortable. Oh, that's right, their shit slips away. I forgot the last chapter. Yeah, they had to lay on top of their sword. It might have disappeared because of their wickedness. <coughs> ah, wow, I'm gassing now. All right. 21, and on the morrow they fought, even until the night came. 22, and when the night came, they were drunken with anger. Uh, beer is better. Even as a man is drunken with wine. Now that's not bad either, but I tend to get a headache the next day. 
Maybe I'm just not drinking good wine. Nine. Alright. Sorry, the vision's starting to double on me here. Uh, and they slept again upon their swords. 23. And on the morrow they fought again. And when the night came, they had all fallen by the sword, save it were fifty and two of the people of Coriantumr, and sixty and nine of the people of Shiz. So Coriantumr is still outnumbered. <laughs> I know that's not funny. Oh, God. Where the fuck am I? Oh, shit. Totally lost my place. Alright. Just, let's see. Okay, yeah, there we go. 24. And it came to pass. <sighs> the chapter from hell. Love it. That they slept upon their swords that night, and on the morrow they fought again. And they contended in their might with their swords and with their shields all that day. Twenty-five. And when the night came, there were thirty and two of the people of Shiz and twenty and seven of the people of Coriantumr. Just like lemmings, aren't they? Twenty-seven. Uh, and it came to pass. I've lost my place again. God damn it. And it came to pass that they ate and slept and prepared for death on the morrow, and they were large and mighty men as to the strength of men. 27. And it came to pass. What the fuck is wrong with me doing this two in a row? They fought for the space of three hours, and they fainted with the loss of with the loss of blood. This is so believable. All right, maybe not. Twenty-eight, and it came to pass. that when the men of Coriantumr had received sufficient strength that they could walk. They were about to flee for their lives, but behold, Shiz arose, and also his men. Not quite. Uh, getting bloated. All right. And he swore in his wrath that he would slay Coriantumr. It could have happened, man. The prophet said it ain't gonna happen, so it ain't gonna happen. <clears throat> or he would perish by the sword. 29. Wherefore, he did pursue them on the morrow, and he did overtake them. I can't believe I lost my place while reading. Everything's getting a little loud, uh, out of focus. And they fought again with the sword. And it came to pass in the middle of 29, just to mix it up. <sighs> they 
that when they had fallen, wait, had all fallen by the sword, save it were Coriantumer and Shiz. Behold, Shiz had faded with the loss of blood. Thirty. Wait. Wait. Lost Thirty. Yeah, and it came to pass. Okay, I read. I drank before I read it. I gotta pour another one out. Let's see if this explodes in my face because I dropped it earlier. Ah, no problem. came to pass. Just count if you drink before you say it. I know I'm making it up as I go along, but fuck it, I got another beer to drink. When the chapter's almost over. That. When Coriantumer had, had leaned upon his sword that he rested a little, I hope it was sheathed, because either it's going to get driven into the ground or into his armpit. Maybe it was all rocky. Yeah, all right, fine. <sighs> Coriantumer had leaned upon his sword. Then he rested a little. He smote off the head of Shiz. 31. And it came to pass. It is nice, though. That, after he had smitten off the head of Shiz, that Shiz raised upon his hands without a head. Uh, and fell. And after that, he had struggled for breath and died. He died. Was that his head struggling for breath or his body? Just wondering. Because I'm morbid. Sorry. 32. And it came to pass. <coughs> there we go. That Coriantumer fell to the earth and became as if he had no life. 33. And the Lord spake unto Ether and said unto him, Go forth. And he went forth and beheld that the words of the Lord had been fulfilled. And he finished his record uh, in parentheses here. And the hunter part, I have not written, thank you, in parentheses. And he hid them in a manner that the people of Limhi did find them. So, it was like a time capsule, huh? Got a million of them coming, I feel. 34. Now, the last words which are written by Ether are these. Okay, better. Whether the Lord will that I be translated 
or that I suffer the will of the Lord in the flesh, it mattereth not. Then why'd you bring it up? If it be that I am saved in the kingdom, amen. That's why you brought it up. Okay. And that's it for the book of Ether. And yeah, Moroni is a bunch of fortune cookie passages. Pretty. Oh no, it gets a little longer here. Not too long of a chapter. Let's see how many. I mean, not too many. Too, not too long of a book, excuse me. Looks like there's about ten. Oh, the paint sticking together here. Yeah, but ten chapters. Maybe ten more videos, and that's it. Ain't that nice? Then I'll just have to, uh, oh, using it for a, a coaster. Uh, I'll have to do the DNC and Pearl next. So we're almost out of, we're almost out of here. Let me know if you learned something. I think I missed half of this. About to watch it while I'm editing. Peace the fuck out. And I know I got to do with some serious editing here. <laughs> Have a wonderful, whatever the fuck it is you're having. Bye. Taking a nap now. I'm done.